all our warmer temperatures out there. We've had lots of sunny skies. Yeah. May have your kids itching just a bit to get outdoors and explore. Yeah, it can be dangerous in those wooded areas. What if your child gets lost? Would they know what to do? That's the question we're asking here this morning. Yeah, News 4's Alexandria Adams has some important safety information your child should know. Good morning, Alexandria. Good morning to you, Holly and Chris. Yeah, it's just so easy for people to get lost, especially in dense woods like this. Just a couple weeks ago, a, girl, a couple girls out in California got lost in the woods, but they credit what they learned in 4-H and what their parents taught them for helping to save their life and be able to be rescued. I actually had the opportunity to speak with the Tennessee State Park Chief Ranger, Shane Petty. He's been with them for about 24 years. He tells me that he and other teams across the state do more than 100 searches a year for folks. Petty also leads the Hug a Tree Survival program. Now this is a national program that teaches kids how to survive in the woods if they ever became lost. Petty says the best ages to start learning these skills is around six, but says even some younger children are capable of learning these safety skills. One of the first people I call is the Tennessee Highway Patrol Aviation Unit and bring a helicopter out and we'll try to tell the kids how to lay down uh, to uh, kind of make a snow angel as we would talk on the ground so a helicopter would be able to see them. And one other thing I do want to show you is this really cool trick that he taught me. So you probably have some foil in your kitchen right now. If your kids are choosing to go out outdoors and explore, take that piece of foil, make an imprint of their shoe. So if they in case they got lost, those rescue crews could find them a little bit easier because you would have an imprint of their uh, shoe there. Uh, now, if you're wanting to learn more about the Hug a Tree program, we do have a link on our website right now that will take you to the Tennessee State Parks website. Holly and Chris. Yeah, certainly yeah. something to consider. Yeah, this time Think of year, about. especially getting outside so much. Alexandria, thank you.